You got a little freezer. So it's a big fucking log, right? And then deep throat it proper. Got like that. Oh, yeah, like, just watch. Ready? Like this? Ready? Don't do it. Just like that. <laughs> Clip that. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Out of context. Oh, Clip that. Look at my deep throat skills. Look. Yeah. Lad, I like got that whole bottle in his mouth. Then. I feel like you've had a bit of practice there, guys. <laughs> <What's going> on? <laughs> Why is he just deep frozen the Hannigan? You might be the maddest guy <laughs> I've ever caught. met, you know? <laughs> you gotta freeze it, right? Proper in C. He's dying for someone's C. Hello, welcome back. I think this might be episode 10 of the What's Happening podcast. I don't know, because I've never passed Matt's. Um, <laughs> this week we're actually sponsored by no one. Um, <laughs> once again. But we are joined by TikTok. We'll say sensation. Oh, We've got uh, Lee Morris uh, on. Oh. If, you, if you've seen him on TikTok, you'll know him as heavy that bro. He's been going on TikTok for a good couple of years, now, haven't you? Uh, yeah, How yeah. are we, lad? I am good. Nice one for having me on. Lad, thank you for coming well. down, lad. Yeah. We appreciate you coming down. Um, yeah, you, you, you've, been, you've been doing loads. I met you years ago, didn't I? Yeah, like, we, we met like We've like done a little lot. bit of acting together, yeah, and yeah. we've done a little bit of drama, and, uh, and then um, what it was, was I was too talented to be getting put up for auditions because <laughs> it wasn't fair on the other people, <laughs> so I stopped doing it. Um, but you've been smashing it, though, haven't you? You've been in loads of stuff on the been telly, you have know, so been in a few things since. So, like, the first thing I was in was a show called Anthony. That was yeah. like me. That was like the first show I ever got to like speaking. What was that about? I was just gonna. Yeah. I, uh, do you remember, lad? I'm not sure if he's a lad called Anthony. I'm guessing. Do you remember? <laughs> no, right remember like, um, do you remember like Anthony Walker? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Scouts, yeah, yeah. Scouts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scouts. But um, and then I was done that, and then um, is that a big role? I wasn't like a big role. I got to say like a few sentences, but what, still what, what was step it? up for like an extra. I was like one of his. Basically, what he used to do in his spare time was like teach kids b- basketball in school yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I played one of his students. Ah, okay. So yeah, I got to say a few words on that. So, no, it was so. still like a little step up. You've and been then um, quite big recently, though, haven't you? With, um, was it with Stephen? Graham? Stephen, yeah, time yeah. lad. Uh, with Steve, Stephen Graham and Sean being like that was fucking mental. How long were you filming mental. for that for? I was originally meant to be filming for like I think it was ten days. I was meant to be doing, but I got COVID. So like, there oh, was heavy there. Debate you shit yourself thinking lad, you were going to take oh, lad, don't get me started. It was fucking mad. Yeah, so I went for the audition, like a yeah. self-tape, yeah. Normally, you know, if you don't hear anything after a few weeks, you, you know, assume that you don't, you. Yeah, don't yeah, get yeah. it. So I was about two months later, lad, I was just sitting in bed. My agent rings me. Goes, Lee, can you speak? And I'm going, yeah, yeah, I'm, what's up? She goes, yeah, you got the part. Lad, fucking jumping up and down. <laughs> lad, <laughs> running down <laughs> the fucking stairs. Going, mum, got it, yeah. And um, yeah, went for it, lad. Sick, Ten yeah. days, got COVID, lad, didn't I? A so bit, yeah. I I, I, the director rang me up and went, Lee, your COVID test has come back positive, lad. So he didn't say lad. Yeah, he said, um, Lee, you got some bad news. Prepare for the worst. You might not, we might have to like replace might it. Not make it. it, 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 it <laughs> he, said, he said that to you. Yeah, he said, um, just prepare. No, he never said we might replace it. He said, prepare for the worst because it's negative. So, lad, I got off the phone and I was, I'm not going to lie, lad, was fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, oh, especially if that's something you like want a big, to this, like yeah. a big opportunity. I was like, oh, fuck this, fuck off COVID, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the thing is, with like acting and all that, you might have all the talents in the world, but it's the right time. Lad, right? Yeah. It's, 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 all it's all look, yeah, yeah, look the yeah. part. You could be the best actor in the world, lad. If you don't look the part, then that's it. They know, they know before you even stepped in that room. They know if you've got it or not. As soon as you step through that door, they're like, that's it. Mm-hmm. If you can act, yeah. it's a bonus. Well, lad, yeah. look at Hollyoaks, lad. They're all, none of the, they're not talented whatsoever. <laughs> but they're all at least an eight out of ten. They're all, I'm only saying that I never got the part. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I, I remember, oh, get on this, lad, right, get on this. So, years ago, right, I had an audition for the part in Hollyoaks for a kid called Alfie, right? I went to the audition, smashed all the auditions, but I looked too young for the part because he was meant to be like 17, 18, and I was about 17 at the time but I looked about 10 so I never got the part and I was gutted because they made the character look like they give them the same glasses as me and everything <laughs> and then like a year later the character got cancer and I was like ha ha <laughs> <laughs> I was like yeah baby <laughs> I remember I was meant to be on Peaky Blinders yeah and I was fucking made up and then they, they turned me down because my chest size was too small that's <laughs> ridiculous yeah, that it's so stupid. story my oh, life I that I swear I'm mad imagine getting an email on the UC look we're going to give you the part but we've done your memoirs <laughs> and you're a muppet <laughs> 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 oh, what's his Little name chick. Tommy Shelby. That was my dad. Tommy Shelby. Fuck off. You're going to be Tommy Shelby. Never. I was going to say that. Really he was going to be Tommy Shelby's dick. <laughs> <laughs> but his chest ain't big enough. Spe- speaking of that in time, though, cracker. 
Yeah, there's yeah. fucking crap. I've never seen I it, mate. What's that? Else? If you haven't seen it, go on and watch it. It's, yeah. it, it was, was it filmed in Liverpool? What jail was it filmed in? Oh, we saying like you wouldn't have been was, in the jail. No, no, it? I was meant to be in the jail. Yeah, so going back to what I was saying before, they rang me and said, prepare for the worst and that. Yeah. Rang me up like two days later and went, Lee, I've spoke to the writer. We've changed the script round slightly so you can still be in it. Nice, nice. But like they just cut some of my scenes out. So it. So you would have been in it more. Yeah, so the prison scenes. Yeah, you didn't, would you didn't have to do that, did you? Would they still be getting paid the same anyway? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, good oh, yeah. Shan, I don't so know. instead of filming for waste, yeah, okay, instead okay, of filming okay. for ten days, I think I was filming for like five, four or five days. Still yeah. sound. So all yeah, the prison scenes fair. were getting filmed in Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury prison. It's a mess, that like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To be fair, they pay for all your transport, though, don't they? Yeah, I was in one prison scene. It was when my dad was leaving jail, and we were greeting him. That was yeah. filmed in Heighton Police Station, lad. But they CGI would it to make it look like Shrewsbury prison. Yeah, yeah, mad, yeah. So what other scenes would the view be? Because even though I love the show, can't remember a thing. He hasn't watched it, he's lying. I know, I did. I thought so it was in it, because I can't remember. I thought it was a belter. I don't want Justin Simberlake, where do you all have time on the arm, innit? That's a mad film, by the way. That's a mad film. It's a good crack, innit? It's a belter. <laughs> so, in terms of your TikTok career, then what made oh, you? Yeah. What what made you? What made, say career, like, like yeah, you know what nah, made yeah. you start it? Like what made you think fuck it, TikTok? Go on. Well, do you know what? It's, it's mad. I, I didn't intend to like start it at first. Like it was during the first ever lockdown. Do you know when like no one was allowed to leave yeah, the house yeah, yeah, and like yeah, yeah, so yeah. I found myself just stuck in my room twenty four seven. So to stop myself from like getting bored, I just thing. start. Yeah, <laughs> I just fucking wank all the time. Like, on TikTok, yeah. <laughs> four days, I can't live like this no more. Friction yeah. beds yeah. everywhere, innit? Yeah, so it's him. Mum, you doing a NAS delivery? Get some shoe creme. Yeah. <laughs> get, a bag a, get a bag of garden peas there for us. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, but then to stop myself from getting bored, lad, I just started filming these fucking stupid sketches. And then I had no intention of posting them. And one day I just thought, ah, fuck it. This one's yeah, quite funny, innit? So I posted it. I had got like 150,000 views overnight. Shan, oh, man. And then from then, Sick you kind of get like, when you see your vi- the views going you up in the bottom, lad, yeah. you know I, what I mean? I don't know about views, because obviously views have got like acting experience and all that, but when you start doing like self-videos like that, little clips, it's a massive confidence boost, because for me, that's the biggest, cringiest thing, is like doing yeah. 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 Thing, yeah. Like podcast that I'm not arsed, I'll talk on camera, I'll talk on stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't bother me. Mm. But if I'm doing like a video of myself, my ass falls out all yeah. the time. I'm, I'm I'm bad, bad, but once you start getting like, good at it, you Yeah, I can't, I can't do it on my own really on. anymore. Like, but looking yeah, back yeah, now, yeah. the videos were a piece of shit. Well, yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, I used to hate doing them shelf tape auditions for stuff in ours, because I'd be trying to like do it in the living room. I'd be like, look, you can just get off for like two minutes, I need to just do this. And my mum would be sitting there like, no, I'm so proud. I'd just want to watch it. I'd be like, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, I hate filming myself tape lad because your phone, my phone always like goes off and then yeah, you have to do yeah. it about fifty times, lad. It's annoying. I'm one, of, I'm one of them. Me, if if so, if there was one person there and he said, "I'll go and sing us a song," I go. Hmm. <laughs> but if there was like a million people if on I've the stage, I just go quite fuck it on my ass and I just do it. The confidence just appears out of nowhere. I can't do it in just in front of one person because it's that one person with the one eyes yeah. just fucking. Judging yet, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I've just have a million people. Well, judging that's me. what I mean. Like, 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 when I'm like writing jokes and that, I, like, I, 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 you know what? They, they're actually not, and the reason they're not at is because I'm like, I'm immensely talented and incredibly funny. <laughs> but, um, but what it is, not like, 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 I'll go over them on like FaceTime with Elliot and that. But I couldn't sit there with like my brother or my mum and dad and like go, yeah, look at this joke. Like, but then like when you're doing it in front of like an audience, that it's well better. <laughs> Just imagine your face down and go, how about you reckon that, lads? Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Like, when, I, when I first wanted to get into Don't stand-up... Don't like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> when I first wanted to get into stand-up, it was during lockdown and I couldn't get a fucking gig anywhere. Yeah. So I didn't have a clue what to do, so like, I was researching what to do and I was like, just practice and practice. So I was like just recording myself in the bedroom and all and that. She's laughing. Like, one man. And I was just like, this is grim, lad. Like. I mean, <laughs> he was, was making like, 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 like that with a glass on the wall going, what's this virgin doing? Like? <laughs> He'd say a punchline and the camera would cut to him with a different top and going, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Laughing at his own jokes. What are you doing? Like the fans on FIFA, they're all the same person. I was all my fans, right? Remember when it was the first lockdown and uh, the German <laughs> league was the first league to come back to Bundesliga? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. one of the clubs. Asked all the fans to send the picture in and they printed pictures and put them in the yeah, store. Oh, I've and someone done a picture of Pear Blackie, didn't they? You know, there's a picture of Pear Blackie and fucking Munchie. Have you seen what they've been doing at Fuzzy Grounds now where it's like Happy Birdies or someone? And someone put Hasbro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has Bees Little Fit Birdie, Bees Little Fit Birdie, Bees Little Fit Talking about that quick, when I started practicing my timing for comedy on the way to work, I had voice notes and people were saying, like, when you're managing your timing, leave breaks for laughter. So I'll be in the car and I'll say a joke and then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go to the next joke and then 
I just look at those people at the light staring at me and I'm going, oh, what am I not doing? Like? That's the thing with the comedy and that though, it's like, uh, with the acting, you can sort of, even with your TikToks, you can sort of watch it back and like, if you're doing a sketch, you go, oh, fucking hell, that was a crack of that. Yeah, but yeah, with yeah, the comedy, yeah, yeah. it's like, you think it's funny, but then you've got no one reaction, reacting to it, so you don't even know if it's fucking half mm. as good as what you think it is. Nah, and I know, the yeah. funny me. <laughs> how, do you, like, how do you test your like material then before you, you go on stage? Me and I say the shit. Nah, <laughs> and he goes, or do you just go up there and so hope like, that so people laugh? Me mate Elliot, uh, me and you were in college. That uh, he's one of the he's he's, he's the, 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 the maddest kid you'll ever meet. Like, he's, he's, the, a he's the maddest kid. And if he's watching this, I love him, but he's a psychopath. Like, he is, but like, he's the funniest kid you'll ever meet in your life. He's the funniest kid you'll ever meet in your life. So like, he's always being into comedy and that, and like loads of people who like loads of comedians now who I consider like some of my favorite comedians. He showed me them in the first place um so like so because he understands like the process of writing a joke I, I if i've got an idea i won't necessarily write it down i'll facetime and i'll be like oh, i've got this idea i want it to go like i want to do this and this and this and then we'll spend about four hours on the phone going over it until we've got a joke but there has been times though like i've done a gig um uh at the chilling rooms in liverpool you know that that little weed cafe yeah, yeah i've yeah. done a gig there um and the being like it weren't even like I was just dead stoned lad and like I didn't know like, like and I had this idea and I just thought I'll just go up and do it and I hadn't wrote any of it down I hadn't fucking I hadn't like I hadn't done nothing and I done it and it went dead well but there has been a few times where like, like you do it and because you haven't worked that's probably one of the best head. places to do it in now like lad, no offence a coffee shop everyone's stoned yeah, lad no matter what, what you do like, you know even what, if you like, flop or not lad, yeah, everyone's yeah. gonna laugh like, lad this, I've seen loads of comedians mm -hmm. they say like, oh, like, like when they smoke weed the loads more creative and that lad. I get the opposite like when if I have a joint yeah. and then go on stage to do comedy I freeze lad yeah. you're, not, you're not a shark that's what, nah, I mean, that, that, that's what I mean. Especially like, if someone from the audience said something like, you probably just sit there for like two minutes, lad, not uh, knowing what to say. Like, oh, what do you mean, yeah. lad? What do you mean, lad? <laughs> do, you know, do you know what's mad, though? Like, even, uh, there's people out there who aren't comedians who are the funniest cunts ever, but just haven't got the balls to get on stage. It's like, the local fucking Charlie fucking smackhead who yeah. might yeah. be in the He's, the he's got the gift of the gab. Funniest, you know I mean? He's the funniest fella that I'll ever meet yeah. in my life. But salesman tactics that bad, lad. Yeah. Salesman tactics that bad. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't do what you used to do, though. I couldn't do, like, stand-up comedy because if a joke flopped and, like, oh, oh, I'd rub on the lad. Do you know what, though? Know what, though? There's Look loads that. of acts on the circuit who, when they die on their ass and when they bomb, their ass falls out and they go home and they say I'm not doing comedy ever again and all that. You've got to own it. I fucking love it. I'm sick in the other. I don't know why. When I die on my ass, I think it's hilarious. Lad, it's so funny. Because you, you can twist it, So for 10 you? minutes, I'm just dying a painful death and I'm thinking, this is hilarious. This, you know, it's fucking boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, lad, totally I, I love it, lad. No, but you know what as well? No, like, there's been times where, like, 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 like 90 percent of my gigs, I, I come out uh, and like, I feel good about, I feel good about it. But like, there is that odd one where you come out and you're like, ah, oh, that was shit. That, but then you're like. It was funny though. You know, because they, they you've just been stood there for 10, 15 minutes trying your best to make people laugh and no one's asked. Like, see, this like yeah, one of the main differences, like if you do a gig in a comedy club, it's so much easier because the people who were there have went there specifically yeah, to be yeah. yeah. But there's sometimes you'll do a gig in a bar. So like there's people like the so like the, the, there's people who were there just to go have a bit of 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 <laughs> uh, we'll be back but um, but yeah like, I was doing it and he kept shouting out and the first time it was like what do you say and then he said so and I went quite, yeah, quite man eh? and then cracked on and then the second time I said a joke the homeless one really. and yeah and I mentioned minimum wage I wasn't joking about minimum wage because I was earning it <laughs> so like yeah. and he's like what's your problem with minimum wage and I went I was like what do you mean and he kept going and I went does anyone here pay to listen to you speak no, and shut the fuck up, nah, man. No, nah, but that's and the thing with comedy shows. A lot of people, a lot of people who go comedy shows probably think, "Oh, I, I could be doing that, or I wish I could yeah. do something like that." So when you get a bit too happy, or, or yeah, they see a point yeah. of terrier, like they'll jump yeah. on it. But that's, exactly that's the thing, is, like, No one's going to see them. Right, that's what, what I mean. want there. Two minutes of fame, like yeah, they do. I've been heckled by my own ma. Like, I, I'm actually be married for well, guys. No wonder he fucking chat about I'll, like, I'll, 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 I'll show you the video as well because I fucking nailed it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that out of context. Yeah, Clip yeah, that. So, Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. I was, em I was, em I was emceeing my own gig, right? So I knew like 70% of the crowd. And I said something. I mean, Marley like, heckled me. And I just went. Ah, oh, just fucking fill your mouth again with your fella sword, will you? Right? <laughs> and then she started kicking up, everyone was laughing. 
<laughs> Sorry, Gary's mum. <laughs> what did she heckle? You're an orphan. Yeah. And then I, I went. You were a mistake. Your dad's a pinata. Me, I fell hung up. I'm glad I've watched. I've watched yeah. everything. So, so I went out. I'm only messing and love you. And then someone was like, ah, whatever. And I went to sound. You can't write me off the wheel because your skin's anyway. You're just going to be. I've actually seen that video. Yo, yo, it's you know a crap, you know. Talking oh, so about hecklers, right? I was gigging in Berry last week and. Uh, it was a mad layout. It was in a, a, a trackside booze next to a train station, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Really mad layout. And there was this fucking table of... fuck you get gigs oh, in there? Like mad, table of four at the back, right? Two women, two fellas, about 50 years of age, weren't listening to a word of the comedy, but they were just talking dead loud, yeah. kept getting told off. And Jordan Duchamp was on stage, and he's a Canadian comedian, right? And he was talking about 9-11... Um, paedophilia so his ass fell a fucking well. up the ass and everything right he was right. talking about I, deep shit I actually fucked him up the ass I don't know but he was talking about it <laughs> and then he said <laughs> and then he said I'll be intrigued yeah. and then he said talking about it isn't Blackpool a shit hole and some woman in the front went what about Rochdale and he went yeah Rochdale as well and then this woman at the back who weren't listening went what have you just said about Rochdale? You little foreign bastard. Where are you from, you little prick? Threw something at him. Stormed the stage. Everyone was like fucking stopping her. And he was like, why don't you just have another drink and then drive home, you little rat and all that. Right? <laughs> she got fucking carried away by the bar staff and that. And then in the interval, like, she started swinging for him outside. And I was like, the Rochdale fuck, kicked her off. Yeah. <laughs> Rochdale, yeah. Rochdale kicked her like off. People say anything else, lad. The bad boys in, lad. Fucking people only get like offended when it's something that they care about. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, you can joke about nine eleven, 11 joke about our cancer, but don't dare say fucking Blackpool shit. Yeah, but don't dare say Rochdale. Yeah, fucking hell. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a both sides to that. Don't like you could something I care about if you joked about it. I'm not gonna give a shit. I'm just, I'll probably. I'll just not be asked. I just won't. Yeah, like, oh yeah, fucking that, whatever. But people out there, fucking hell, man, even if it's something they're not asked about, they'll still fucking give just the Do you know what that is, though, right? Do you know what that is? It's because now, the way the world is now, right, and everyone's got their own community and everyone's got their own movements and that, rather than just shutting the fuck up, lad, everyone wants to seem like, like, I'm the nicest person in the room here. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, I'm bothered by this. It's like, yeah, well, I'm more bothered by this. It's like, all right, fucking hell. I know. Like, why have you got blue hair? Well, it's like them people in it where you go, oh, lad, <laughs> I'm just being on holiday. It's always the ones with blue hair, though, man. Yeah. Blue all like, <laughs> It's like, hard. I've just been to ten and even like, well, I've been to twelve and even. Like, it pisses me off, lad. It proper winds me up, like fucking, like um, it's just, it's all the time. This is what you were saying, then. Like, people only take offence with it something they're asked about. Like, like I, like the the reason I got banned from that comedy club was because I done a joke about something in Ethiopia, right? And I was, it, which it wasn't nice, but like it, it's one of them. But like in that set, I also made jokes about paedophilia and terrorism. But it's like, okay, you can do that, but whoa, don't say that. It's like, like why not? Yeah. Like, offence is, offense is taken, not given. Mm. Know what I mean? Like, I can say something. Like, like, I, like for example, I just made a joke about your half, Ellie, who, who, you know, God rest his fucking soul. Like, <laughs> on too soon. You laughed about it. You know? <laughs> like, but you laughed it off, but... Like, this is what I mean. I mean, I mean, look, if it was a normal person, I'm not saying you're not normal, Gary, but if there was someone out there who's <laughs> half-fella <laughs> killed himself and you went, ah, you're half-fella killed himself, you're getting a smile. No, yeah. Regardless <laughs> of if it is. No, he's just a bit more chum. No, the thing, thing is, though, is like, like... Think use a different example. Like, if, no, oh, like, <laughs> okay, but, okay, so, like, like fuck You're half-fella strung himself, lad. <laughs> 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 Strunk him. <laughs> what a lovely way of putting it. Uh, do you know what pisses me off though? It's all these people who, try, as you said, like I'm the nicest person yeah. in the world. Fucking show us what you're saying in your group chats. Then we're just like because yeah. 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 no. everyone, everyone people, says right? exactly. Bad stuff, it's the lad. same people who post like fucking mental health images like advocates and then they're bullying someone oh, yeah, lads, that's that's yeah. Yeah. many of them thank show you. me your three pound a month statement to you sponsoring a fucking Ethiopian and yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Nice. thank you again yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, it's, it's one of them no, like, it, it, it proper bothers me lad, because it's like it, it, it's, it's, it's getting to a point now where like and lad, you've probably seen it yourself. You definitely have. Like loads of comedians now, especially comedians who are fairly new. They're all the same. Like they're coming through and they're trying to make jokes about like, oh, look how nice. Like like I was at a gig in it. Where was I? Lad? I was at a gig in Leeds. I went with James Bibby and Alex Rowley. Yeah. Um. And there was this woman there, and, and she she went on to she, she went on to to, to to do a set, and. She wasn't telling jokes. She just spent seven out of her ten minutes talking about how she's an accredited author in the LGBT community. Oh, fuck and I'm off, like, lad. No one's asked. Like, if if you were an accredited author, 
in another community still. No one a care. It's changed on a comedy because like comedy's more online now. Like I don't know if you've seen it, but you can get more of a following online than it is in person. So yeah. when you're just doing stuff in person, people might heckle, people might do whatever. But you're just focusing more on what the online, the, the overall reach of things are. So maybe to some people personally, the things that you're just saying don't 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 like hit home or don't make them laugh. But in as an overall scheme of things on the internet, you should make a majority it's, it's, of people it's mad laugh because at. when you go to a gig, their laughter's your currency. Yeah. You yeah, need yeah. their laughter to make you feel good. Yeah. But you're not gonna get any other gigs unless you have a following online. So true, about creating true a that. That's what I mean. Like, like that. nowadays, the way forward well. in a social yeah, media. Like, the way like forward. When, like. when we done the podcast with Mark Hughes, he was saying so like, like yeah, he, he he was saying um, like in America and in Canada now, there's comedy clubs who before they've even seen your material. And they've seen if you're good or you're bad, they'll look at how many followers you've got and they'll book you just based on that because they know yeah. if you've got a hundred thousand followers you and you might the full have audience and, Yeah, and like maybe two thousand of your mm. followers might be in the city where their comedy club is. There's more of a chance you're Do you reckon it? like that sort of obviously that thing now where like companies look at your followers and stuff, do you reckon that sort of um, making the quality of comedy suffer in a way so like people aren't focusing purely on the quality um, to you're following now you I know don't what I mean you know what? I, don't, I don't necessarily think it's going to make the quality of comedy suffer because like like as a comedian you speak for yourself if you're a good comedian you're still going to get booked but yeah. it's promoters yeah promoters, yeah. promoters do you think? Promote, like and it fucking pisses me off that's the one thing I hate about comedy is the politics to it right yeah. the amount of times on the comedy forum promoters will put a post up saying looking for three acts uh, no white hetero males, please. And I think, imagine I put a post up saying no black women, yeah, please, no. or no yeah. Asian women. Because yeah. 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 they want the diversity, see, and I it's all about post. diversity. Yeah. But the way I see it is funny is funny. Like, no, yeah, someone, la- book someone who's going to bring laughter, do you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. the amount of times I've gone on gigs, and don't get me wrong, there's people, uh, there's women, there's people in like the, the LGBTQT community who are fucking hilarious, and they smash yeah. every gig, yeah. and they deserve the slot. But then on the other hand, there's actually were fucking terrible and dog shit. Yeah. And I just see them getting repeatedly booked. Because of the Because of the so, device. So I, I, I see him on one of the on one of like the forums on Facebook and it literally said, like, they had like already like say five comedians booked and you were booking another five. And it, it was like, um, we don't want any straight white males for this. So like so in theory, I, d- I, I could know. message them and say, I'm non binary. Yeah. Give me the gig, and they'll give me it because I because I've said I'm non-binary. I identify as the boy in the striped pajamas. Yeah, I I, I, I identify as, as a man who gets gigs. So yeah. that's, that's a lot of pretty. people are identifying as different races now and everything. Lad, lad, trans lad, race. Lad. Did you see that woman who went on Good Morning Britain? Lad, Did you see that she went on and got tanned injections and got a permanent perm put in her hair and goes, I identify as a black woman. Oh, that's like, fucking no, racist. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, 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 yeah, that's, no. blackface, that's old school blackface. That's what I'm going to say. Old school. That's fully racist. Did you see the woman? Permanent blackface. I woke up with a Chinese accent. Have you seen that one? Yeah, but there wasn't that off a bang on the head. That was funny. That was not possible. It'd be sick if she was just saying, don't do the accent. It'd be sick if she was just taking a piss, you know, the old time. <laughs> she was doing it for comedy. She was doing it for TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what, though? Do you reckon this is ever going to get to a point, though? And, like, correct me if I'm wrong, where there's just going to be... Comedy's just not going to be a thing no more. You know what, do you know what I mean? Like, ten, five, yeah, five, five, be two five, PC, five or mean? ten right. years ago, you had Little Britain and that. And don't get me wrong, there was some bad things on Little Britain, yeah. but it was funny. It wasn't... I, I don't think it was made it's moving, in a harmful... I just don't it understand. Made, it wasn't like, made to be malicious. If you don't like it... Don't, don't watch, watch it. Yeah. Don't watch Lad, it. If Little Britain was on the telly and you don't like it, You're not gonna get watch your it. fucking telly remote. And turn over. What was yeah. the thing on Little don't Britain? What, what was it? It was all sorts. It was like people and that. Do it, it, Andy in the wheelchair, skating disabilities. Well, that's the, the thing. What you said for two eight poor people were pure racist, weren't they? In it as well when they did with eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. No, like, like obviously what Gary said before. If you don't laugh, lads, you'll cry. Like that's probably a good thing. That's trying to make light of situations. That's what a lot of people are. Yeah, are bad. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, it's it's all bandwagoning. It's like the whole. Jimmy Carr cancellation thing, right? Uh, yeah, His yeah. special came out in October, and then people started jumping on the. I've band seen it, and I thought it was funny as fuck, lad. To, to be fair, right? It's just a fucking shit joke. It's not even yeah, like no, a yeah, no. joke. So here's what I was here's what I was trying to say before. I'm glad you brought it up, right? Because so like in that in that special, he made jokes about the worst possible topics, right? But then as soon as he said it was a good thing that gypsies were killed in the Holocaust, it's like whoa! It's like lad, shut up! Your living room's got a handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Shut your mouth. Yeah. Like, you like, you, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's like, it's like you can make jokes about terrorism, but don't dare touch the jiff. Oh, it's like no one's asked. They haven't got tellies anyway. They're not going to see it. Tyson Fury's watching this and he's going to punch your head in. And he couldn't get me. Come on, all that. Fucking all that. Jiffos are mad, though. Uh, yeah. When uh, my family live in Ireland, right? And uh, the first time I took my bed over to Ireland, we arrived Sunday morning and I said, listen, Sunday morning, all the kids are out. It's the rest of the fucking nines. Like the girls will have mini skirts on. They all stand on one side, the lads on the other side, and they start grabbing them. So I don't know if you know what grabbing is. Is that, so, is that a Oh, that a I know where you like pick, yeah, so pick a, a girl, lad will it? pick a bird and it's like yeah, a yeah. fucking choker against the wall. And he's like, you're mine now, effectively, you know what I mean? I've seen stuff like that. It's bizarre. Lads, come on, ask me. Gypsies. Lad, there's a, there's, a, there's a gypsy family at the end of our David's Road, right? And they've built uh, a massive bungalow on to, so they can claim the land and keep the caravans okay. there. And they all live in the caravans and the horses and dogs live in the bungalow, lad. <laughs> Lad, oh God. Priorities first. There's ponies in the uh, window. Like imagine going in a bungalow and there's a horse in the kitchen. It's happening, bro. You know what I mean? It's coming around. Yeah, lad. Nee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is mm. crazy. You know, yeah, I, 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 right, what I wanted to ask mm. as well, because from what I've seen, you don't really, like on your TikToks and that, you don't really, you don't really touch any subject generally that could be deemed as like, yeah. offensive. But have you ever had any, any, have you ever had any videos taken down or have you ever had any comments of people just moaning? Down, lad, for what though? Like for which? So, so for example, TikTok's, stupid TikTok's fucking stupid in terms of like the guidelines and that. Like I used to get videos yeah. tucked down ages ago for swearing, but then people were getting their asses and the fucking dicks out on TikTok. What? This like, is what I was saying. Yeah. You can get your knob out, but don't say fuck. Yeah, what? You know so I mean? that one we, we yeah. had one taken down that had like over five hundred thousand views. I wondered where that went. Right, so nah, it no, got, so it got I thought down. that you hid it. No, I thought it got tucked down. I went on and I was like, where the fuck's that gone? Because the one with the most views, I pinned it, and we had two pinned. One had like three hundred thousand views. One, one had five hundred thousand yeah. views. I am bragging. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then I went on and the one with 500,000 views again um, <laughs> I disappeared and I was like what the fuck and then I went on the notifications on, on TikTok and, I, and then it seen that it had been, it had been tucked down because apparently it contained sexual content and then I was like it didn't so I appealed it and they were like yeah it's still not getting put back up and then I go on on the fucking like explore page and there's beards yeah. who if the thong was any thinner you'd see that arsehole and I'm like how's oh, that not sexual yeah, content let's see that. what they've had for breakfast and everything yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> TikTok <laughs> give me the video what yeah, yeah, yeah. TikTok it was no one doing that no. I, no. I was like would I rather yeah, the old dad team and all the that's not real in my ass. I'm taking the fake dick clip that will put it back up from your hard drive it's out I don't want to know what else is on that hard drive what's on the hard drive him taking the fake dick or him saying it I need to boil my hard drive lad my hard drive oh no Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have to look for a new producer. <laughs> Gary's on bail. No, but lad, that's the same with anyone's. Fo- Let's all be on everyone's WhatsApp groups, lad. The stuff that's in the WhatsApp groups, lad. Everyone could go to jail listen, for yeah. years, listen, lad. Listen, that's the truth. Listen, the police have my phone, yeah, for like three months. Of, not for like me, like nonsense. Any- Remember? Yeah, well, that sound that you're doing. Yeah, that sound that you're Clip that, lad. Not that I'm a piece of fire, but if I was. Yeah, yeah. Nah, You've got was... two nonsense on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> no, I was remember it was, I was in the car crash yeah. and me no shut For up. Shut up every like, conversation nah, he has all this crash that I was in. Anyway, police had my phone because it was left in the car, right? They had it for three months. Lad, my fucking heart ah, lad, it was in my mouth. Lad, I had videos of fucking bears getting shagged by dogs that people had just sent lad, me on Lad, everyone's got it and it automatically saves taking, your phone sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, lad. lad. <laughs> swear to God. Google. I'm in prison in a neck brace. <laughs> Google is the biggest <laughs> crash <laughs> ever. I'm gonna show it. The biggest yeah. crash. Google's the biggest crash. No, lad, it is. Google it is. Photos stores every night. I, I only come across Google Photos about six months ago. And I was just like, I went, so what's this? Because I never go into like the Googles yeah. folder on my phone. What's this Google Photos? And there's just like fucking smut everywhere. <laughs> like fellas getting their heads cut off and everything like that. Oh, Show me the link to that folder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what? It got. To, do you know the first time I ever seen anyone getting their head cut off, lad? I must have been in about year six or something. So yeah. told me, lad. Oh my god, I didn't sleep for two weeks. Now it gets to the point where someone sends me, they go, "I have a cut off." Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, lad. That's fucking tame. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what though? Yeah. Do you know right? So do you know you said about that Google Photos that stores everything, right? He laughs at me for this, right? Me. But yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. So, so. <laughs> I don't reckon, right, with technology now, we've got any privacy at oh, all. Right, no, and no, I'm no. worried. I've never, right. I've never disagreed with no, that. No, 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 but you would disagree with this next bit. I'm worried. Yeah, yeah listen right. to this. Right, no, and this is, a, this is a reasonable concern. Listen to I'm this. I'm worried that as technology advances and AI and robots become more advanced, they're going to take over and we're all going to die. 
<laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I feel like there's a middle bit there that you've not really <laughs> yeah. touched on, lad. There is, lad. We went from, <laughs> we're all sound to, we're all dying. So, what's, nah, so what's nah, happened nah, in so the middle? It was not bleed death then, lad. No, 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 but what's happened for, what's happened for AI for what you're saying to take over? Right, okay, so right now, right, okay, so I'll explain it. So, remember that thing? You haven't even explained the full thing. I know what. Like, no, I, yeah. that's what I was just saying. It's like, I know that thing, right? With that, like, with that um, robot head, that's Sophia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm on to so it. He made oh, another one of them, right? And then it was on. Like, it, like you can probably find the video on YouTube still. And it started to ask, like, so what are your plans then? And it was, it was like, I want to obtain the nuclear codes. And I was like, well, that shouldn't be saying that, should it? And then there was two, there was two, there was two um, like, proper, like, I think, I don't know whether they were either quantum computers or just proper high-grade computers, right? And they could function on their own, like, they were almost conscious, like, they almost had yeah. a conscious mind. And they, they, they invented their own language through code and started communicating to each other through code and then became self-aware and knew that they were both computers <laughs> and could recognise the other one as a computer. And people couldn't decrypt what they were saying because like, every time they get close to decrypting the language, they had change it so they had to just disconnect them so if that's what <laughs> that is oh, I feel like that was a big point to that like story that's <laughs> I'm glad I, glad I got you. that, that was yeah. like Scouts Mars in the 80s <laughs> with the back slang in it exactly <laughs> but this is what I'm saying though so if they were doing that five years ago in 20 years what's going to happen lad I, I do think that lad. we need to control it though because I'm scared you know. <laughs> but imagine, <laughs> how scared. imagine how many computers just laughing at fat crazy fellas wanking in the webcam like that <laughs> <laughs> your laptop's having a ball yeah <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, back to TikTok. Yeah, so <laughs> back to TikTok. It's going to kill us all. Uh, <laughs> so in terms of your videos then, right, oh. what, what's had the most traction, would you say? What, what's had the most views or comments? I used comments? to do, like, um, they've all been talked down now because TikTok's just fucking And what for? Shit, just like. stupid stuff like swearing and Yeah, like whatever, swearing and that. Because I used to do, like, school sketches because they used to get views. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what? Like, that, that's yeah. because you've got a good following and good hits on it. Because yeah. I've got about 10 videos on TikTok that I've got about three views and I'm calling my kids pricks and my ma are swagging mm. and they've not been taken down because no one's watching no, yeah, yeah, TikTok, like TikTok don't, don't look in, they don't look into like people people can sit there and just report you for nothing and TikTok yeah. just see people reporting yeah, you and delete yeah, it they yeah, don't yeah, actually yeah. look into it yeah fuck you TikTok that, <laughs> yeah. no, right. you know what? That's, that, that's the problem though with people getting cancelled these days though because like that's how it starts like, people get like that because like there'll be a, like, like, there'll, Jealousy, be, there'll be a group of just proper smelly little mings on, on like Twitter they'll be like oh he's horrible so you know we're not watching them anymore and then other smelly little mings won't even look into what they're saying they'll go well yeah if they're not watching them, I'm not oh, watching them either yeah. Yeah. no you know one's got mean? their own voice lad they exactly, all think lad. they're not sheeps and the sheeps I've got hundreds of videos there that I just I know for a fact I can't post because they'll get do. sucked down straight away like, I want you lad they're fucking funny do we, I man? think they're yeah. funny anyway why not but just like, post it anyway if it's going to get sucked down if it's going to get sucked down no because no, what I'm worried about is if my videos keep getting sucked down they'll just fucking take down the whole page that's my job like it's my job now you know what I mean so if that got sucked down is that what you make all your income off at TikTok I used to I used to work in um, a few months ago, I used to work in Home Bargains, Hanover Street, you know, the one on Hanover yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to work there, lad, and then it got to the yeah. point where you I was... You said the sickest one. Bobby said the sickest one. lad. <laughs> when we started, it was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm not hearing all this negativity about what I, I, like, I used to work in Home Bargains oh, myself. Before you carry on, carry on, I want to meet that fucking policeman. Cut oh, like the one at the front of the Home Bargains. I how old he is now, lad. Yeah, he's been here since yeah, yeah I used to work in our own bar, another big one in Prescott, lad. We yeah, had a cafe in, in our so we were best. In the retail you. park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, but like I used to work there when <laughs> yeah, I was like when I, was, I used to work there when I was in college, right? And um, I ended up leaving because my manager stunk. <laughs> and that valid was reason, lads. That I'm was not going to lie. No, listen, lads. I had this manager. Sacked. I had this manager called. It was the only job I've not been sat on. <laughs> um, honestly, lads. I had this manager called Jenny. And if you are watching Jenny, you are a smelly cunt. <laughs> get a watch. Yeah, yeah, get a watch, yeah, Jenny. Just, just get in the bath like once. And lad, I'm not. Like, I'm not even messing. Right. So you will know them. They're called fill shifts, right? Yeah, yeah. So you've got to go in at like six bell in the morning Hated before them, the lad. shop opens when they get the deliveries in. And when the shelves are empty from the day before, you've got to fill the shelves before the shop opens. And I'm not even exaggerating. Right, you'd know when Jenny got in because you could literally smell it from two aisles away. Like the kid after Ghostbusters in it, just coming to big. Yeah, lad, honestly, like the, lad, like the same as your you Mars razor blade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, listen, lad, it was one. bad, you know. And I remember she pulled me in the office one day because there was some woman come in, and like they've got signs above the aisles to tell you what's in the aisles. And this woman goes, I, "I was chocolate. I had loads of shit that I need to put on shelves." And they, do you know where? Do you know where the bread is? Went, it'll be, it'll tell you on the sign above the aisles. Say, yeah, but can you take me to it? I was like, I, I'm, I'm busy, you know what I mean? Like, if you look over there on the signs, it'll tell you. She goes, well, can't you just fucking take me? And I went, no, I'm fucking busy. 
So now you got Paul in the office hating his manager with a breath lad going, listen, Daniel, it was very inappropriate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just got all warm, just on his like neck. Mr. Morgan in our yeah, school, yeah, lad, you know, on it. When, like, because, like, because, lad, you'd be in trouble, lad, you get put in isolation, and, and the only teacher they'd let you go in isolation with was Mr. Morgan, who so so had the stinkiest <laughs> breath, bro, right. and, lad, the room was probably about a quarter of this room, lad. So why they got it, though, so you, you'd think about yeah, it and be naughty. It's like, yeah, you'd, you'd go to something and then go, you'd smell that breath. We used to have a teacher in school, I can't say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Nah, I went to your school. Say his name. I say his name. Do you know yeah. him? You say his name, Danny. Right. I can edit it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take, we can edit it Daddy. out. Daddy. Nah, uh, I don't know his first name. Baldy fella, science teacher. Right, I'll say his name. Miss. <laughs> do you know <laughs> him? Oh, lad, because he was a science teacher. No, do you know what, lad? He was a science teacher, but his breath. Horrible. Yeah. Lad, he'd come over oh. and like help and it smell like he eat shit yeah. daily. <laughs> this is a question then. So what about if your bet like one of your best best mates, you both went out, you both went on a le- le- let's say a double date and his breath hummed. Lad, would don't you even say ask me that question. It'd be the first thing I said before we went on the date. I go, lad, your breath stinks. <laughs> no, but, no, but like some people feel Probably bad in it like when your mate stinks or something. <laughs> Come on, your breath no, but, like, stinks, Lanigan. A few people say, don't they, like when the mate stinks that they feel bad to say anything. No. Do you know what I mean? So like, I'd rather not. No, no, yeah, same. No. Same. I'd rather want to be on my bed that my bed's constantly saying, your breath stinks, your dick's tiny, she's horrible at <laughs> Do you want to talk That's about why I love it. Lad, that's why I love it. Did I tell you what she did the other week? Well, I think what? you might have done, you know. Mid you. That's yeah, all you're yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My bear was giving me a chew, right? It was my birthday. And I went, listen, <laughs> a man's got needs. Yeah. Any chance of a chew? That's so nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> heads or tails, heads. And head she was chew. like, all right, seems it's your birthday. Mid you. She just stopped and looked at me and went, I don't mind chewing yours off because yours doesn't choke me. And I just oh, went, oh, lad. Man, we just went instant flop, lad. I was like, I was like oh, lad, I, I'm not the man I thought I was. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Instant no, flop. What do you mean, instant <laughs> flop, lad? It would have been instant single mother, lad. Never mind. I'd <laughs> be like, well, see you later. I'm getting off. Hey, you're feeding her elbows, the little rat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to TikTok. So, <laughs> it's, so it's your job. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're in money, lad. Oh, lad I used to, yeah, as I said, I used to be working in that home yeah. bargains, lad. And then it got to the point where I was just, I was making like more dough off that, lad. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, so, it just made sense Did to me. Did it ever affect you, Talk to me about how the payment works. Yeah, is it TikTok oh, that pays you or is it no, sponsors that pay you? What pays you? You can get paid off TikTok, it's the creator fund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how it is for other people, but for me, it's pennies, lad. Like, yeah. for, I, I had a video that was on like 500,000 views, I got about four pound. Really? You get like yeah. 0.001 pence per yeah, view, lad. Yeah. It's like Heavy mad. That. So, so it's mainly off ads, isn't it? Yeah, so, so I'll make that. me down now. Like, a brand will contact me, like, email me and say, here's our product, we'll give you X amount of money to like make a video promoting it. That's sick. That's and is oh, it I good money? money the website yeah, it's the headset, that. yeah it's just that. Did it's you same. think that it ever, so obviously what you said, that you used to work in a bargain, did, did obviously doing your TikTok ever affect your real life job, do you know where people are bringing up to it's, you? It's, it's massive you know career I mean? in home and bargain. No, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, but what do I do? Imagine, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. imagine he gets home tonight and he's got an email from home and bargain yeah. saying, sponsor your lad. Advertise those little rice crisps. <laughs> no, but like, no, but like some people have had to leave their like real time job in it, like careers, whichever, because yeah, of that. No, I'll be honest, like, that was part of the reason as well, lad. You get like people coming in like, all the time, really. Yeah. I, I didn't think. Recognize I remember the first know. time someone recognised me, lad, and it was the mad. It still is mad now. Mad, it's mad, isn't it's it? It's mad. It like, I'm not trying to act like I'm some fucking big shot because I'm fucking not. I'm no one. Can I just put that just out there? Just Goose's major I'm not a fucking big shot. I'm not trying to act like I'm. I'm not, not a, like a big shot, but here's me piece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> when I say yeah. this, I'm not trying to act like a big shot, but like when people recognise that it's so mad. Like, I can't comprehend it. And it's boss, lad. It's only ever happened to me a handful of times. But like, I love it though because it's in a way, lad, you feel it's a reward it shows yeah, that what you're yeah. doing and I'll never ever say no to anyone lad if someone comes up because I get like kids coming up and asking for like, photos yeah. I'll never say no lad it's like, boss, lad. I've, boss, lad. I've, I've, I've said comedians who were quite fucking famous talking about this like saying oh they get pissed off when people come up to them in the streets and they wouldn't be what they are that's the thing, I mean, the thing is right yeah. it's them people you've who put chose them to be in the fucking public you know in the, in the mm. limelight yeah. in the public eye it's your job They're, you're where you are because of them yeah. they duty to yeah. don't get me wrong like I remember I was in Nando's in Witness and Simon Mignolet was having a scran and these like four greasy kids are like fucking spitting on his chickens and I was getting all spitting on his chickens. Leave him alone, lad, you know what I mean? It is. Can I have an like, autograph, Simon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> must be mad getting kids must be mad getting kids coming over to you asking for pictures and that. It's mad, lad. Look, did like you I'm take no, did you <laughs> take I was gonna say it, I had to stop myself, you know. Did you take any inspiration off anyone when you was doing it? Was this purely what you used to do in school? Jack Jones, like, no, that's no, that's 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 that's
watched TikTok, lad. I just... I so got, is that purely just off what you used to Yeah, I don't, I'm not one of those people who, like, sit there for ages scrolling. Like, I'll watch it for, like, five yeah, minutes and then yeah, get off and that. Yeah, it boring, lad, don't it? Cause it's like, but, like, I've only, ever, I've only ever had two people ever ask me for a picture, and it was when I went to circus with these lads that I used to work with. Um, oh, yeah. And I went in, and like, I was fucked as well, lad. Like, I was fucked before I got there. I'd only been there, like, ten minutes, and this lad come over, and I was like, oh, lad, you do that podcast, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah, he went, lad, me and me bird, what you gonna do? Like, can I take a picture with you? I was like, yeah, 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 cool, and then he took a picture with me. And then he sent me the picture on Twitter a few days later, and I was like, lad, it was mad. No, no yeah, we did, be. no, it happened again when we were in the queue going to mansions to see Roger, Roger Sanchez, and the kid gave us free ale. Oh yeah, we went. We were going. We we were we been to fucking on the docks. On the docks, and then we were we were in the queue, and then the lad who was like kept coming out to check the queue, and then he he come over and he moved us to the front of the queue, didn't he? And then we, he he let us straight in. We didn't have to pay to get in or not. Oh, we already booked the ticket. That's why helped me. Mm. Um, and then <laughs> and then um, they, they let us in, and then I've been waiting to go to the bar, and he's come in. He's been up chatting and Danny. He's like, nice one for coming down. I was like, I was I was like, what? Well, it's just sad. Whatever. My lad's probably and then, surreal, like, yeah, he come out with like loads of tokens for like free bevies and that. And he was like, lad, I was like, I really appreciate. He's like, no, what? We appreciate you. I was like, I don't know why I tell jokes about cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he was like, nice one, Danny. Like, how do you know me? And he just pulled out a selfie. You, him and your ma like that. So. <laughs> lad, this is what I hate. Though I hate it when people get like famous and like they think they're yeah. too good. Like if yeah, someone comes, if someone's it. coming over to you, like admiring you and like complimenting you and wanting a picture, yeah. and you and you're not having the time for them, you are a knobhead. You are a knobhead. You are. Yeah. You are a knobhead. You are, lad, because you wouldn't be where you without, are without, without them. Do you know what I mean, exactly, lad? Like I get kids coming to me house, lad. Shit, yeah. that. it's mad, lad. Shit, that. I'm, you see, when I have kids coming to my house, I'm a weirdo. Yeah, and they love it when they get there because I get swinging me back. I nearly get three to five years. It's a bit of a difference. Just on loads of sweets and that, doesn't he? And I'm not even Halloween. I'm like, do you want to play ventriloquism? Nah, you've got to you've got to stay humble, though, haven't you? But if I ever got a million quid, I would disown all my mates and make new ones and sit in cigar clubs and I go, yeah. Yeah, well, what are you on about, Bobby? I've never met you in my life, but I'm not asking in the crash, that's not reasonable. <laughs> um, would you like TikTok? Is there, is there like a long term goal? So, was it sort of TikTok? Like, is this, is this, is this where you're going to focus your career, or do you want to make your own show on TV? Or? No, I just want to like. Be an actor like on television. Just be an actor on so I'm, I'm just doing like two. Get you out there, lad. Don't yeah, do it because yeah. people no, watch yeah. that, especially with seven. You know, what, like going back to, to before, oh, they'll only fucking pick it if you've got this many thousand yeah. views. Obviously, it's not like that with every sort of acting thing, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. But internet, it's like when you think back of like throughout time, it's like, remember YouTube, remember. Like when YouTube first started, it was like Smosh and fucking Fred yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah. And then Fred, Smosh, Fred, Fred was heavy, lad. Fred, Fred, Fred oh, got lad. a big following, didn't yeah. he? And then he's got movies, and, and that's just off from doing that. So yeah. anything can happen with these things, and it's yeah. obviously with the following that you've got, you know what I mean? So mm. stick to it. It's Keep at it, Jeff. Do you know what's scary? Like, would it be in a generational thing? Like, my daughter's 11, 42 minutes in. Yeah, I was just My saying. daughter's 11, and like, when you talk about what you want to be when you're older, like, she's only 11, she's like a, a YouTuber, and I'm like, how is that even like an aspiration now? Do you know what? Like the money in it. Man, if you were so to say you wanted to be a YouTuber like a few years ago, your parents would look at you like fucking not What are you doing? Have you seen, seen that Ryan's toy review? Oh, uh, like that kid, he's like that little kid, kid and he gets dull. Because I've got three kids who were different ages. When when Lila was watching him, he first came on the scene and they were in like a little one bed flat mm. in the middle of like fucking Lodge yeah. Lane or something like that, right? And then now, like, Lennon watches him and they're in like a fucking 12 bed mansion with Lambos outside and everything. And the parents are just making a killing of him. He was the most paid in what? And all he's doing is sitting here opening fucking Kinder eggs. He's got his own toy brand and everything now. Fair play, it's just like that. It is quality. I, I, do you know what I love it more so where it's like they've started from jack shit yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, they've yeah. and they've got yeah. somewhere I love that whereas when it's silver fucking spoon fed lad like, exactly, yeah, they, exactly I don't give two shits you know but what it's mean? funny yeah. watching because like our kids role play all the time like and play games Ooh, and I duty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 and what Daddy said, <laughs> said shh Daddy said don't tell your mum <laughs> he said <laughs> No, Daddy <laughs> said, does this cloth smell like sleep? Yeah. <laughs> They've been in the hall the other day playing, and I could just hear Lena going, like and subscribe, and I was like, the fuck are you doing, it's lad? It's mad, innit? Like, it's you're playing mad. with a Pokemon card, you dickhead? It's mad. I remember when it first used to come out, and I I, 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 I robbed me fucking Mars fucking camcorder, and I, I was filming this. <laughs> look filming on it, like, We've all done a video on yeah, YouTube back in the day, we have Make sure you like and subscribe yeah. in, your, in your room. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. Got like two subscribers. Yeah. 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 Maybe reacting to Corrie or something, lad. You know what I mean? I can't believe the tram crashed. I don't want me to react on the Rooney instant, lad. I can't remember what it was, lad, but I banged up a video, and I was like, eight, bro. And it was just going on this rant about Rooney, lad. 
Just about him headbutting someone or fucking tackling. No, he did tackling someone. You done it on the last episode when I was there, didn't it? You go. Like and subscribe and in the yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Like? <laughs> <laughs> that clip, please. Silent you know? edit. Right, what I want to do as well, because obviously we'll only be the corn for like another little 20, 25 minutes maybe. What I want to do is Gary's little section. Right. Everyone has their price lead. You might not be too familiar oh, with this. And we all have a price lead. We but learned that yeah. last week. For anyone yeah, watching that. at home who's not familiar <laughs> with what we're doing, is what it is. So Gary, do you <laughs> want to give them a little overview? Oh, yeah. So basically, right, I'm a sick, twisted bastard, right? <laughs> So I, I, on my podcast, I, I used to have a podcast, right, Dead Famous. I had, like, three <laughs> followers. Um, <laughs> I used to have a section in it where I'd ask everyone, like, everyone's got their price. I'll ask them, like, a series, like, four or five questions. Some could be really sick, could be, some could be stupid. But there's a, a, a monetization to it. So would you do this for a million pound? Effectively, okay, like, yeah, a million yeah. pound question. Right, so I'll, I'll go through a few. I don't know how many you want, but I'll go through a few. Let's do, do five, you want to go six? along? So we'll go along first. Yeah, go on, uh, go along. Go on. Well, I'll, I'll pose it to... I'm going one person pose, at a time. No, 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 no. Like, answer answer first, 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 go on. First, go on. first, uh, first question. Hello, yeah. friends. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> half a mil. Half a mil on the table. 500 bag. 500 bag. I'm saying yes already. Lad, half a mil. Fucking like, hell, no, that's what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. Would you brush your teeth with your beard's period blood for a week? Yeah. Oh. Lad, give me a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give me a tenner. Five but yeah, lad, if it's your beard, yeah, maybe a random person you think more, but if it, lad, if it's your beard, lad, you've already scrapped. Well, lad, to be honest, lad, to be honest, if lad, she's your beard, lad, you have to. I'm gonna tell you about it. Listen, listen to this, like this joke, lad, lad. Listen like, to this. Ah, oh, this is horrendous, right? <laughs> so two years ago on New Year's Eve, we went to my mars for New Year's, <laughs> and uh, in lockdown, I turned into a bit of a pisshead, right? So on New Year's, me and my beard are drinking loads. Everyone went to bed, me and my beard are still getting fucking rotten. We goes to bed, and I'm fucking proper rotten. And I just fancied a bit. So I was like, started plating my bed, right? Proper going down on it for ages. <laughs> Finished, and I just went, ah, there's a baby wipe there, girl. Fucking went like that. And when I went, okay, but I woke up in the morning, there was just this red baby wipe. Oh, 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 I was like, I had my head stuck in the 2P machine. Just get the baby wipe. I was like, ah. That's bad. Yeah, right, so, but for, for, for a week. <laughs> For 500 grand, every it's day. only a every morning day for a and week. And right, yeah. so here's what I'm going to say, right? When you've, been, when you've been with a girl for like a long enough amount of time and she's on a period, you'll still shag her. So would I brush my teeth with her a, with, with a, with a period blood for a week? For half a mil, yes, I fucking would. And yeah, then I'd use that money has. to get a fitter bird. <laughs> Wait there, we have an answer. What, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? What, so every day for a week? Twice, so twice a day? Twice a day? night. I, I reckon you do it for a follow on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it for free, just for the experience. No, yeah. Nah, 500 grand. Yeah, I would yeah, have 500 grand. It'd yeah. be stupid not for to. For the experience, innit? Full of iron, be like drinking a pint of Guinness. Why do you be <laughs> full of iron? Your blood, <laughs> blood would be stronger, your bones would be stronger, and you'd look like a horrible bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next bastard. one, next one. Get down your teeth. Uh, 300 grand, <laughs> would you get a tattoo on your face? Of your ma fingering herself. <laughs> for how much? No, Wait, no, no, how much? 300 grand. grand. Just no. like a little, a little pull, tattoo no. there with ah. your ma like that. Right up there. Nah. Defo no. Defo no. Defo no. 300 grand. I wouldn't do it for any money, I don't think. He's thinking about it. I am, lad. <laughs> lad, I'm fucking skin. Give me stars, people. Nah, if it was a random oh. bed. Mm, nah. On your fucking face. I'd rather have a random bed. My own mother. Wait, 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 I wouldn't do it for 300 grand, I couldn't. Nah. Wait, Dave, I, would, I don't think I could do that for any amount yeah, of money. I'm not having my mouth fingering with myself on my face. Yeah. <laughs> Question. Laser could you use 300 grand to get it lasered off? No. Well, then, no. That laser doesn't fully work, though. No. It? Nah. Just nah, it just fades it a bit. Just leaves a scar. You might get a finger by No, then. Nah, I wouldn't do it. All right, eh. I want to change the price on this because this could fucking cause death. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> nah, nah, leave the price. Yeah, go on. You've charmed me. Hundred and fifty grand. Yeah. You've got to go to the petrol station and pump four pounds worth of diesel up your bum hole. How much is four pounds? <laughs> 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 Wait, so what? About three liters. <laughs> what a fucking question. No, <laughs> no, hey, no, lads. Because the amount of 
you've pumped up yeah that's what you'd pay to fucking pay it off lads the fucking cost <laughs> it. not a chance lad not for, not, I not don't drive that. I'm doing it me He's uh, that's like instant uh, death I just want an excuse to use a petrol station <laughs> maybe maybe for half a mil maybe for half a mil wait there wait there wait there wait there for half a mil because that's only two litres I was getting last time for putting baby batter on me grid lad your dad no your dad's don't that's really what but you're chatting sticking a pump up yeah for half a mil every day for a month it was 300 grand like a no, hot every day bun. for a month. <laughs> on a day. Every day for a month. He'd use his own dad's chairs as moisturizer for 300 grand, but wouldn't puff for. I had four quid of petrol these days. Two litres, lad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say, I thought you said four litres. No, four pounds. Four pounds. Oh, two litres. Yeah. 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 If you put four pounds of fucking diesel in your car and pump one, you're driving to pump two. Do you know two. what I did? <laughs> 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 I'd fucking bend, I'd fucking bend right over after I'd done it and stick a lighter to my ass and fart it out. <laughs> what? No, like a fire breather. Yeah, got it. Like an ass breather. Just like a fire breather. I'd, I'd start calling me Khaleesi. <laughs> <laughs> Kalasho. <laughs> uh, right, uh, 400 grand. Uh, you're walking in the park with your bed if you've got a bed, right? <laughs> You get a big log. Here's of my bed right here yeah. on my left yeah. arm. You get a big log of dog shit off the floor, right? Take it home, freeze it, and then you've got a deep frozen until it starts to melt and get in all your teeth and everything. <laughs> you can just imagine him. Does that come from your mind? He's just yeah, sat yeah, in his bed of a night just know thinking of these questions. Night, Lads, are, you know. yeah, right, when I used to write these on the couch, my bed just a pure judge me. Wait, like, there, how much though? That's proper hair. How soul. big is it though? <laughs> how big is it? How big is it? Like a big fucking like. Doberman or something. Lad, I'd have it like yeah. Kobayashi. Oh. Pow! Lad, <laughs> Kobayashi! And what, Lad. you've got to deep throat it? you got to freeze it. So it's a big fucking log, right? And then deep throat it proper. Got like that. Yeah, like that. this, watch. Ready? Like this, ready? Don't do it. Just like that. <laughs> clip that. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Out of context, Lad, clip that. Look at my deep throat skills, love. Yeah, Lad, I feel like I've got a whole gigs. bottle get in his mouth then. <laughs> I feel like you've had a bit of practice there, guys. Why is he just you deep frozen be, the Hanukkah? You might be the maddest guy <laughs> I've ever cut. met, you know? you got to freeze it, right? Proper in C. He's dying for someone to say yes, we can go, oh, what? <laughs> Been thinking about this all week. Just <laughs> 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 like, not even even happened. Not, like, he never even deep frozen the bottle. We just shrek, man. But yeah, yes. no, I do it. I do it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, wait, 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 I'm, I didn't even know the question. I'm still here. <laughs> 350 grand. Yeah. Wait, wait, is it in front of your bed? Just to be in front of your bed? No, I didn't write that. I just said in the house when you get home. Oh, so. Sam. Yeah. How much is how much though? So why did you put it oh, to yeah, that you want to do in the park? Because yeah. you, you have got a pick of dog shit up in front of your bed. That's bad enough. Wait there, wait there. Imagine you're holding your bed. Who walks in the park on their own? That's why I was getting that. Put that in your pocket. Yeah, pass your hand back. I'd do it. I'd do it for 350. Oh, nice. Hand it in it, yeah. Why is he just deep throated? He's the top. He doesn't do it, shit. I'd pick up my, my dog shit if I can if I can leave it I'll fucking run but so, you know them times where you gotta pick it up like, I, I don't bleh. think I ever picked up my dog shit what? ever in 15 Nathan, years and then it died neglect yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah yeah no but like, I'm never like, yeah I I was just never one just to be asked why when he used to shit and that to be fair for the earth no yeah yeah for the earth beautiful Co- composed Fertilizer. horrible human being all that and all that innit? a few more go on yeah go on, it is yeah. with them fucking half a mil okay big dog yeah. big dog now big we're cash. talking big dog we're yes. talking you know this. Cash and Ando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll, get, I'll get a profi loan for it. <laughs> get a nine inch dildo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Made out of wood. Oh, Ooh, with loads that's... of splinters and rough that's edges right. all over it. Now like, you are chance. not speaking my Gotta language. Fuck yourself up the arse for two minutes. Ooh, for how much? A chance. 500 grand. Not a chance. I've had piles. Oh, you're taking that. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I hate that, you know. That's no what I chance. hate. Um, You've never had a Do you know what? I'm, I'll be straight. I'll probably do most things for yeah. half a mil. It does hurt. Yeah. And, and, and lad, I'll be straight with it. I'll, I'll definitely do most things for half a mil. Do you know what? Yeah, if for two was, minutes, yeah. and you're half a mil, you're set yeah. for life for two Have minutes. You've never had a slit on your arsehole. I've never had a slit well, on my arsehole. Fucking, fucking, fucking kills. It fucking yeah. kills. Go, well, after two lad. minutes, so you've imagine, got a, imagine a splinter dildo, nine inch, yeah, right up, yeah. So you haven't just got a splinter. Back and the forth as well, like yeah. in and out, and that. No chance. Like, you know, when you bite your nails and you leave a little sharp edge, and when you think your ass, it always hurts as well. Does it? It's a nice place. No, then. I wouldn't do it, no. 
Massive wood. You yeah. said, yeah. Fraaf and milk. I, I do most of the time. I do it for half a milk, right? Then I'd go to a little Thai massage place with a pair of tweezers and just say for an hour, take them splinters. Why yeah. a Thai massage place if they just got tweezers now? No, I'd have to bring a pair of tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a monster, he brings his own equipment. <laughs> <laughs> because they play nice music, man. <laughs> <laughs> they nice little smells going on and everything. Smells. <laughs> hey, to be fair, though, then Thai massage guys do, do, pay, do play nice music. Like, it's, it's so <laughs> relaxing, yeah. lad. Is that why you go, yeah? What, that, I only go for the music. You only go for the music. Yeah, yeah. I only go for oh, the music. There's one in town. Like, <laughs> there's one in town. Is it called Shabba? Shout out Shabba. You go in there, yeah. <laughs> Shabba. Heavy Shabba. Wank. Shabba. 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 Lad, Sponsor my, us. If my mates are watching, they know exactly what I'm going on about now. You go in there, lad, and it's not just a massage, lad. You go in there and oh, get no, that. Oh, no, no, no. Just lad, I did it. I know, lad. But, like, no, but it's so obvious. It's so obvious that it's not, like, just standing at the door. Lad, I've got a story this one time. But it's so obvious that it's, like, no, yeah, every time I start, I think 99% are like that. Listen, I fell in love with a bird out of one of them once. I was in ours, bored. I'm sitting there, bored, and I thought, you know what, fuck it. I've got a bit of dough. I'm going to treat myself here. So it goes down to Smith Down, yeah. Goes into if you're onto Hatter on Smith yeah. If you don't know, that's on get Google. To know. On Google, now you know. that's classified as a barber's. Right, so <laughs> listen, lad. Listen, Wait, lad. Listen, cut your ear and give it a one. So what yeah. goes there, right? Like, and lad, listen. No, I'll tell you a story in a minute. Carry right, on. Listen, so what goes in, right? I goes in. <laughs> tell me about a barber. I goes in, <laughs> and I'm sitting. I'm sitting in the little reception area, and I'm nervous, and I'm thinking, oh fucking hell, like, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah. Me first and, wank. And and there was there was like one that was like fifty, <laughs> and then there was one that was like. Like about like 21, 22 ish, like around a similar age, and I'm thinking, please be that one. And then um, she's come over and she's Good like, thing. I was, I was, ex- I was expecting the, um, I was expecting her to sign like times come over me, like, do you want to go and wait upstairs? I was like, whoa, I threw me off, but yeah, sign. So I goes upstairs, goes and waits in the end room, and then she comes in, and it was the fit one, and I was like, oh, praise the Lord, right? So then I, I've never been, so I'm just sitting there, be top off, be, be top off, put my jeans on, like. So like, like out, out, out. she goes, well, take your jeans off. I was like, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. So <laughs> take your jeans off, leaves me bills on, goes to like that. She goes, no, take them off as well. And I was like, oh no, well, yeah, no, naturally speaking. So, so I take them off, and I put this little towel over my ass. I felt, I felt dead nice. And then she's giving me a massage, and I, I went back to uni at the time, dropped out again, but went back um, to go and study psychology. And I didn't want to see me. I had nothing going on. So she was like, what you do? I was like, oh, I'm a psychology student. I was like, I studied psychology for two weeks, then left. <laughs> and, then, um, and then, and then, like I'm sitting there, and she gave me this massage. I'm glad I left and my back and my legs felt like they were fucking brand new. Right? <laughs> all three of but them. Then, then, well, well, yeah, because I'm normally large. And then, um, and then and then she goes to me, like, go on, turn over. And I was like, do you want me to like, leave? leave? Shut up. I was shitting myself. I'm going, should I leave the towel on? Like, oh, what? Trying to see Michael Jackson. She goes, no, take it off. I was like, okay. And then she, and then so, like, she, she's giving me a wang. And I said, oh, she had a psychology student. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the conversation I was planning on having during this, but yeah, yeah. And then she's like, oh, I've got so much trauma. And I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck it Flashbacks of an hour. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, like, this is not how I plan this going. But then, lads, she starts sucking me dick, and I'm going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't come prepared for that. I was thinking, massage wank, back on the bus home. She starts giving me a chew, and then after it, I'm just getting dressed going. And she goes, no, we'll have to get a shower, and then after it, like, and then I come down, and I was meant to be in there for like half an hour, and I was in there for 50 minutes, and before they asked me for more dough, I just dip like that. <laughs> See you later. Go on, Barbie. That story, right, so. He went there for the haircut. Yeah, no, there's a lad, there's a lad who worked with, right, who uh, split up with his bed in first lockdown, so we just started spending his dough on brasses every month, right? <laughs> so we were just, like, getting two or three new brasses every month for faddle work. And he come into work one day, and lad, he had a proper sharp fade. And I went, hey, <laughs> barbers are closed. Where are you getting that fade from? You haven't done that yourself. He went, lad, you'll never believe it. He said, try this new escort on uh, adult work, right, in Gattaca. <laughs> and I got round there, he went, and she chewed me off. And then, like, I come dead fast. We just started talking before round two. And she told me she was an hairdresser, so I went, well, I've paid for the hour. Any chance of an haircut? And she gave me a sick fade. She would have fade off a brass lad. That's, That's getting up. value for your money, there, isn't it? Getting an haircut, man. man. Do you know what? If I could go to a beard, she sucked me dick and give me a little sim around the edges <laughs> and it cost me 50 quid, I'd do it. Have you fucking made up, lad? You know what I mean? Let's hit some more questions. Like that, <laughs> this is a fucking strange one as well. Oh, right? dear. Like, so, like, any of them haven't been? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, ah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This one. <laughs> I don't name a price. You have got to tell me your price for the question. Okay, bit of a twist. A, a quid. Twist. Little right. Oliver one. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to go to an old person's home. Right. Oh, I yeah. don't like where this is going. I, 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 I'm a big fan of where this <laughs> is going. 
all the scrapings or like the dead skin and stripe out of the bed sheets, right? Oh, oh you've amazing. won me back now. You've won me back. Toenails, dead skin, stripe, everything, right? Make me cringe that. Use it all to breadcrumb a full fucking place, and then eat it in front of your entire family. Twenty quid. <laughs> so uh, wait, so what? Fish. We've got to get all like, so, the fucking you know dead the skin. Yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Flat fish, right? You've got to get a flat fish. Go to every room, lift the bed sheets off, fucking shake all like the dead ah. skin, toenails, piabs, oh, and everything. We've all got a price, man. And, my, my, and what is it? Probably it, like a, a mill. An old people's arm. We went to a mill, yeah. In front of your family, you've got a scanner. Old you know people's stink, stink as well, to be fair. The fish I, well, it might taste nice. Used to be, I don't know if any of you, you know, <laughs> Dan and Road by Wavesy Road, and you know it. Nah. You know where like the Matalan is. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the road that links like Matalan to Kenny's called Dan and Road. And there used to be a, an old person's home there, right? And in the summer, when you'd walk past, it'd fucking stink. Like, it just... The yeah. smell of just, like, feet and nans was just like... Oh, lad, <laughs> I, I done my work experience in a nursing home. Like, lad, oh, and it right. stunk. So you were yeah. like, like the nursing home fella fucking off Happy Gilmore, were you? Like, <laughs> the nans and everything. Like, but get on this, lads. So I done a year before I went, before I joined your college, I done a year... In, in in the city of Liverpool College, it's, it's like the community college. It's a proper shit out of a college, lad. Um, and for one of like these drama exercises, I um, like they took us to like an old people's home, and we had to like write a little fucking play and do it for these old people. These old people didn't even remember their own children, but <laughs> what they thought they needed was an acting class to cheer yeah. them up. So we went down, and then we were sitting having like tea and biscuits. I didn't touch none of the biscuits because they did, and I was like, <laughs> oh, you stink, so I'm not eating none of this grand you are prepared. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I get chatting to this little art, these two little art fellas, and I think were funny as fuck. So I'm sitting with them for like an hour, and I was going and getting the biscuits, making them brew. How many sugars do you want to? Yeah, sam, boom. And then the woman goes over and goes, you haven't given me any of them biscuits, have you? I was like, yeah, yeah, have you put sugar in the seas? I was like, yeah, yeah, they've been asking for two sugars. He was like, well, they're both very diabetic. I was like, well, I'm going to go. <laughs> 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 Shield over. <laughs> Killed someone's yeah. granddad. I, I hated about. working in that nation. Oh, no, lad, it was shite. Uh, it's, uh, That's from a heavy lit, sucks, though, lad. Because I was like, they got no teeth out. They got no teeth. Is it sick, though? Little gum. Not messing. Not messing. No, I'm not. I'm really bad for that. No, I used to have to just sit there and play bingo with them while it was boring. And then they all forget what numbers they've got. Yeah. I'll just die. Yeah. Nans. Nan's boxes are like pork pies, aren't they? How do, How you, do know? you know? Once you get How past, you know that. Once you get past all the crust and the jelly, it's pure meat, lad. Oh. <laughs> oh, bro. That's what I was gonna say to pro- probably yourself and and to Gary. What's your worst gig that you've ever done? The worst place, worst, worst, worst crowd. Oh, I said a mill. Yeah, I said a mill. Defo. For a mill, I'd do most. But like, what was the way? What's the worst gig you've done? So obviously you've just mentioned there that you went to a nurse so home. So I don't. No, no that, so that was with an acting class i done a comedy gig right in um a bar in walton called the party pads right and it was <laughs> in it a was, speedboat it was, yeah <laughs> so they staged right so either i think it was the fella who owned the bar him or his, his dad years ago went on that dart program bullseye mm-hmm. and his half fella won a, won, a sp- won a speedboat but didn't have a boat license so they've got like a little outdoor like it's like a smoking area, but yeah, for some reason a there's a hot tub there as well but like whenever they have like a musician or a comedian on the stage the is you stand in the speedboat with a mic stand on a mic and and it was both the worst and best gig i've ever done because there's all these kids there who were about 15 with just bags of cat and they're walking <laughs> over and going oh, do you want some of that and i was like well yeah of course <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> if, if, if it's free here's the pope and, um, and then and then i'm halfway through my comedy set and then um the order started talking so i'm just stood there with the mic having a conversation with them and then I haven't been back since. No, oh, yeah. yeah I, I've done that twice, and it's fucking strange. Like, uh, it's the bad, fella made it? us money from a uh, fake taxi. He's got a fake taxi, like, and he made money from yeah, yeah. porn. Like, that's how he made us. There's a fake taxi lie. parked outside. Yeah. It's got the big sticker in the in the, in the window on it. It's, it's hard to say what the worst one is because, like, I've had ones where there's been absolute dickheads, and it's just horrendous. Then I've, I've drove yeah. seven hours to Brighton. And there was four hour women in the crowd who just weren't interested. Yeah. And I was like, this is fucking horrendous. Remember when me yeah. and you drove like, what, like four hours to get to Hull or three yeah, hours to get yeah. to Hull? And then in the first two minutes of my set, they already hated me because yeah. some fella, I said something like, oh, typical scouser. And I went, like, well, you've got a ponytail, so you can fucking shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. apparently, he was like a proper local in this pub and, and straight away, the you. whole room turned. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, so anyway, I'm trying to tell more jokes. And they were all just trying to shout at me. And then there was some woman, I was like, and as a straight white male, she went, you don't look straight, I went, you don't look under. The 50, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just fuming, just tired of it. To be fair, though, the only good thing I had of that gig was that salt and pepper chicken from the chippy night. Oh, how <laughs> nice was that? <laughs> and how oh, lad, how oh, nice was that salt and pepper chicken, lad? It was heavy. Right, uh, do you want any more? Give us two more. Yeah. Right, uh, who drives here? 
Yeah. Just you. I used to. I drove like two years. Yeah, he, well, he I've sold my car. I've sold my car. You all have a license. You all have a license for this question, right? You can get a brand new car every single day, like the car of your choice. Every day? Oh, every God. day. But Wait, so a, a new car every day? New car yeah. every day of it's your big choice. big thing, that I think. But at the end of the day, you've got to crash into St. George's Hall at 50 mile an hour, just rab the stairs into the fucking front door. Does it impact you? Does it impact you? Does it impact you? Oh, go on. I don't think you'd make a pass on car. So you get like a Lambo, but you'd have to like fucking kill yourself at the end of the day. I don't think you'd make a pass on car going 50 mile an hour. Listen, it's half nine, I've got to take it home because I've got a park in the pillars on St. George's Hall. I would if there wasn't any repercussions physically. And 50 mile an hour is fast. Like you've got no, to no, get, that's like, what yeah. I'm saying. Well, well speaking of 50 mile an hour. Um, <laughs> have you heard of 70? <laughs> <laughs> it's a warm summer's eve. <laughs> uh, no. Mm. Nah, that wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Cause I'd, cause I'd think you'd die after like probably it two wouldn't even be the, yeah. It wouldn't even be the 50 mile, mile an hour. It, it'd just be like, I live in West Derby, so it'd be like, oh, I've got to drive to fuck. I'm, I'm not too far. And, I'm not too far. And you George wouldn't well. get the new car every day because after your first crash, you'd spend four weeks recovering from the last one. So you'd actually get a new car every four weeks and then probably so die So how would it work if it went up in Aussie then? The next day, would I still have to get back in that car yeah, to yeah, keep yeah, me yeah. thing? So I'd be like, that would all Or you miss your car for that day. Yeah, I'm probably going to pass on the cars, me. Pick I a horrible have, one. Um, I want to. I want a proper disgusting one. How many have you got? You've got, got about seven. Got loads of stuff. I used to. I used to. Um, yeah, look. So every guest I had on, I used to fucking prep like questions for them, and uh, <laughs> and then this side was where's my fucking mouth gone? I can't even fucking read my fingers. And then <laughs> I used to have like questions for them, like four or five questions for every guest. I had like thirty-one episodes. So I'm not fucking sure. <laughs> I've got a little. Would you know how to? So would you, would you rather? So so obviously you're on TikTok and you said yeah, that yeah. that obviously the goal was to make a show. What about if someone said to you you can make a million pound a month off TikTok solid, or you can make your TV show on let's say BBC One for fifty grand a month? Which one would you choose? Oh, that's that a one? hard one, that you know. Because yeah. it's because it's your love, dream or you yeah, want it. I like I like I enjoy doing them both, but. I think I'd get more enjoyment out of the TV, but yeah. at the same time, yeah. you gotta think of like so, like your family that, and that, yeah, like a million, yeah. a million a month. Yeah. 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 That's like looking after my family and that yeah. for generations. Yeah. Like. So do you think you probably choose the the mill a month? Yeah. Yeah. Probably, lad. Yeah, yeah. Just I think that we all would though. Like Labrador, all that teams and that, but if money comes into it, like, we're all choosing. Lad, I'm choosing the though. I'd say though, anyway. Yeah, we're all choosing though for fucking things up the arse and that. Then again, lad, fifty grand a month for the television. You can still look after everyone. Fifty grand a month. I'd probably do that, lad, because I didn't. I would enjoy that more. Fair shows. I'd rather do things. I choose the mill any day. Off camera. Yeah, off camera. What did you say? Trying to keep it PG. Nah. A mill, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take the mill. I'll, I'll go with two more then. Um, this one's not really relevant anymore because of fucking COVID and that, but um, 300 grand, you've got to use a used sanity towel from a smacker as a face mask. <laughs> oh. <laughs> proper oh, I, bobby head. Nah, like look, stinking a, the pennies everywhere. I'm a proper OCD freak. Me. Like if I, if I go outside the house and come inside the house, I've then got to wash my hands in my face, otherwise I can't sit down. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think I could. I'd do it, me, lad. 300 grand, lad. For just a smack thing on your face, lad. Yeah, Sam. He, he could be clean, lad. You never know. He could be clean as a sanity towel. Yeah. Yeah. You no, 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 but no, but no, 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 but what he uses. No, 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 but the sanity towel that he uses. Do you know what a sanity towel is? A fucking fanny pad with blood in your dickhead. What did you think? I do for the tennis. I thought it was just like a cleansing towel. He could be clean. He could be. No, no, it's famous for their hygiene. Blood clots everywhere. Oh, Sam. Right then, last one. This is a bit our last. This. Go on. See you there. Your mum's terminal, right? Your mum's dying. What a start. Right. She's on her lazies. <laughs> um, yes. You've got a choice. You can either give your mum another 12 months. You can live with your ma 12 months straight in good health. But then at the end of them 12 months, she's just fucking gone. Lights out, right? Or... You can kill her tomorrow and get 150 grand. Yeah, sorry, mum. You, <laughs> <laughs> mum. I know she's watching this. Yeah, like that, 100 grand, mum. Uh, uh, think of the funeral. Really, think of the funeral right, you could get with 100 grand. My, no, what? <laughs> my ma's got a fake hip. I just take her to dump. Just throw her in the metal. Just get in the van. I wouldn't even bury scrap the scrap metal. <laughs> no offense, if it's you knew, really scrap fire. Fucking Dick Strawberry, just big muzzy, just like a ping, the big magnetic thing in the Tiger air. Tiger your ears then. 
No, no, no. I think, my, I, think my ma, I think my ma would tell me to take the 100 grand as well. She'd be like, yeah, take that's the 100 grand. Say, like, if, if you know it's going to die in a year, like, well, no offence, what's the point for the extra year? Do you know what I do? Cash it on you under 50. Do you know what I do? I wouldn't even tell her about the doll. Just, <laughs> just let her die tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, just, would you rather know when you die or how you die? How I die so I can avoid it. I'd rather know when I die. I definitely rather know when I die. Can't, no, like, I, imagine if you die next week the, and you didn't know now, but then someone said you're dying next week. Then yeah. I'd just do everything you, you, know, you want do you know to do. Do you know what though? Right, like, I'm, I'm going to turn this into everything, everything like, you want to do. Okay, right. okay. Because right, right. I thought yeah. about this because obviously, yeah, I fell a fucking hung myself as you know, right? Yeah. And I used, he doesn't bring it up. Though. People used to say to me like, "Does it affect you really bad? Like that your half fella killed himself and you didn't get to say goodbye?" And I'm like, "It does, but he was just fucking dead and then he wasn't." Yeah. I imagine it'd be much more painful to watch a love loved one fucking die over like a year. Yeah, the tear, like, and, yeah. I know you're getting to say goodbye, but you've got to watch them go through the pain and get ready yeah. for it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was the thing with my nana granddad. They both just went suddenly and like, obviously, obviously what you were saying there, you don't get the chance to say goodbye, but then sometimes Why, where did that go? goodbye be. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, man. No, but no, but no, but like sometimes, like like people say that they wish to get like get to say goodbye, but like all you're doing is saying goodbye, like crying and all that, like it, like it's just a bad situation. Oh, yeah. so sometimes you'd rather just I, be done I with. I wouldn't even do it for the money side of things, like you said, going through that because I've been through that. Yeah. It's fucking horrible. Like so obviously, bad. probably you yeah. don't even know, yeah. but I wouldn't even do it for the money side of things. I just do it just to fucking. Well, lad, throw me. But <laughs> Way to live in that moment. Zoom on the phone. But if you let your mother die, that bit out. But if you if you let your mother die, she'd be reunited with you from under the train, lad. Do you know what I mean? Four like, <laughs> 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 back <laughs> on take three, talking under the train. <laughs> uh, uh, I have a Deadpool in work where we put a fiver on the next person to die. Swear down, lad. Any, any Who's the next any one on it? Insight you get, Gary. Let me know. I'm hoping the I'll Queen dies. Yeah. The, the Queen's not man. dying soon, is she? Is she's, 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 she's on her way. Cold blooded. How much to play no, the Queen? Lad. <laughs> How much? Oh, the you the said how much to lift the Queen's box? I yeah. played the Queen, lad. Played the Queen for free, lad. Imagine going to Buckingham Palace, lad. Dragon rights. Dragon rights. Windsor Garden, whatever. I reckon her box was like shaved like a corgi's head in it. Do you know what I mean? I'll sleep in it, me. I'll get custody in there. But I reckon. Have you ever been the Queen? Have you ever been skint and like you throw your hand down the side of the couch, look for a few quids, and you find like an ever mint matted and dog ears? That's what I reckon her being looks like. Looks oh, like Philip's shit. fucking wedding ring up there. Looks like Shadrach Dingle's neck. <laughs> <laughs> like hairy mouth. You know what? We'll call it there. I've had, I've had a fucking good time. Yeah, I've okay. had fun. Uh, Lee, oh, yeah, thank you for coming down. Shout out your stuff, lad. Shout out your socials. Oh, yeah, shout out your TikTok and all that. Shout out your TikTok. Yeah, my TikTok is... Um, Fuck off, lad. You yeah. need to give us a shout yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, go on, go on, go on. Nah, show me TikTok, heavy that bro, it's just my name, Lee Morris. We'll yeah. put it all down, linked in the description, yeah, your yeah. Instagram and your TikTok. Being a belter, it's been a nice belter, one, I've had one. one. Nice we'll put all everyone's on socials, linked down in the description. If you have seen this episode and you do want to sponsor us based on the topics we have covered, feel free. Um, <laughs> Tom Moore Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Moore Foundation, we will not take your money just because we hated them. Heineken, um, I can deep throw bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've learned a lot about Gary on this episode, but yeah, thank you for watching. Go and watch all the previous episodes. Stick around and watch the next ones. We'll see you in the next one. See you later. Peace.